It's a big bunch of um, white cockatoos. They live um, here on the course. Well, they're here every day, whether it's the same bunch or not, I don't know, but this, this group, it's like early in the morning and they're just having a feed, chomping on what they can find. They're very, very, even though they're a wild animal, they're quite tame around us here on the golf course. They're quite used to people walking past, especially, I mean, I'm on the, on the track, so I'm not disturbing them too much. Here comes a couple of cheeky ones. I'm surprised I'm getting this close to them. Normally you don't. <laughs> I used to have a tame one that had been um, obviously uh, kept from a baby. You've got to keep them from babies. And uh, it was a wonderful pet to have. My uh, grandfather had one in England. A cockatoo just like this, it must have, um, they must have brought it from somewhere. Because I don't think they're native to England. And um, he taught it to swear. And it used to swear like a trooper. And um, one day it disappeared. I don't know how he lost it, but it, it, it went. Some, maybe somebody stole it or took it, whatever. And uh, 20 years went by. And uh, one day he, he, was, he, he had this wonderful shop in Grimsby where he sold... Um, curios and second-hand furniture and um, uh, just all sorts of stuff. I, I remember playing in it when I was a kid. It was the most wonderful adventure, his shop. <laughs> and um, one day he went to this house uh, where somebody died and uh, that's how he got a lot of his um, stuff to sell in the shop, a lot of his furniture and bric-a-bracs. And uh, he got this uh, stuff from this house and he went up to the house and he knocked on the door and this voice said hello and he said hello and he knocked again and this voice said hello and he, he said oh hello is uh, I've come here to pick up the furniture and the voice said is that you Charlie you old bastard <laughs> oh, it was a bird 20 years later it recognized his voice without even seeing him the more I learn about birds, the cleverer I realise they are. They're the only other animal, apart from monke uh, monkeys, that are closely related to human beings, that pick things up in their claw and use it, um, whatever they've got in their claw as a tool to smash something. And they even eat that way. They'll pick something up with their claw and eat from their hand. Very smart animals. I love them. There you go. I'll see how close I can get to this one before he actually takes off. He's about a metre away from me now. It's quite amazing how close he's letting me get. Hello, cockles. Hello. Hello, cockles. How are you, mate? Oh, you're having a good feed? Yeah. Cockle, cockle, cockle. Oh, he's alerted them all. They're going to go. They're going to take off. Oh, see you later, guys. Bye.